Sack off at YouTube and let us make some delicious chicken chow mein. let me start by giving you an ingredient breakdown so over here I have some chicken thighs that I just sliced into small pieces okay you can use chicken breast but I'm more of a sort of dark meat type of girl so this is why I'm gonna be using some chicken thighs for my stir-fry I also got this um, ready-to-cook oriental stir-fry bowl from little and it has a mixture of everything really. You know, you're gonna find some white onions, green cabbage, Chinese leaf, some red peppers, bean sprouts, and bamboo shoots and all that stuff in here. But if you don't find this or you can't find this anywhere, you can always just chop up your carrots and everything else separately. Okay, but I bought this for about a pound and change and I think it's gonna be really amazing. You're also gonna need some garlic, onion, spring onion. This is the chow mein that I will be using. I got it from London at one of the Afro-Caribbean shops. And as you can see, it cooks in five to seven minutes. So that is going to be amazing. Seasonings wise, we're going to use some thyme, sea salt, black pepper, some oil, of course, oyster sauce, a bit of honey, some dark soy sauce, and just some regular soy sauce. To season up my chicken, this is about 500 grams. I'm going in with a little bit of salt, I'd say about half a teaspoon, some black pepper, of course, some thyme, a little soy sauce, and a little honey, okay, just a little honey. Now you just want to mix this up very well. Beautiful. Okay, so now that it's nicely seasoned, I'm just going to allow it to sit, I'd say for about 5-10 minutes. I'm just going to go in and make a little sauce, okay? Very important. So I'm just going in with some dark soy sauce. I'd say about two to three tablespoons, okay? A little bit of black pepper, a little oyster sauce. I'd say about a tablespoon of oyster sauce. Just to whisk that up. And this is going to be our sauce for later. Let's start everything. So guys, I've got about four to six cup of water and this is what I'm going to be making my chow mein in. I'm going to allow this to boil for about five to seven minutes and when it's all done I am just going to drain it off and rinse it under some cool water straight away as this will help to prevent any sticking. Okay. I've got my wok as you can see it's starting to smoke up and this is where I'm just going to go in with a little bit of oil and add in your chicken to it. I'm gonna allow my chicken to cook for about six to eight minutes, okay, because it's boneless and it should cook very quickly, okay. So guys, this is how the chicken is looking and it's already cooked by now. It's been about six, seven minutes. And like I said, because these are boneless little pieces, they will cook so easily okay very very easy so i'm just going to transfer that to a clean bowl okay this is my chicken nicely cooked and i'm just gonna top up on the oil just a little bit okay and then add in my onions and garlic. I'm 
and stir that up. Okay, you want to stir that up for about, I'd say 30 seconds to a minute before going in with your stir fry vegetables. Okay. Just want to stir that up. Now I'm going to cook it according to package instructions because it clearly says to cook for at least six to eight minutes. You don't want it to be overcooked and soggy, but you still want it to be nice and crisp and beautiful. Okay? So just stir it up. my chow mein. Okay, I cooked it for about eight minutes. Then I just rinsed it off. I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, this is gonna be so beautiful when you mix up all the vegetables with the chow mein. And my heat is on a medium high throughout. Look at how gorgeous it's looking already. Look at that. Such a good decision to buy the already chopped veg, guys. This just saved me so much time. Okay. Beautiful. I'm going to go back in with the chicken and all that gorgeous juice. And just mix it up. Because you don't want to overcook the chow mein, okay? So the chow mein has been in there for about a minute, okay? You don't want to overcook this at all, okay? And now that the chicken is nicely combined, this is where I go in with my spring onions. Let's mix it up well to combine. And last but not least, our gorgeous sauce to finish it off. Look at that. Look at that beautiful sauce. So you just want to mix the chow mein in that sauce. Guys, see how gorgeous it's already looking? Look at that. That is so amazingly delicious. Okay, so this is where I just turn it off. Turn it off, my loves. Oh, guys, look at this gorgeousness. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is so gorgeous. So beautiful. So this is how it's looking. I hope you enjoy this easy chicken chow mein recipe. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It's a pleasure having you here as always, and I'll definitely see you again in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.